Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General of Ourself, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 23rd day of June 2024, and our topic for today is the Second Resurrection. Please let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, the one who reigns forever, our God and our King, the ruler of all the earth, we bow before your majesty, we worship your holy name. Thank you for the privilege to be before you again today. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful we say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. As we gather to receive your word, we ask that one more time you would prepare our hearts to receive. This word will serve as a reminder to always keep ourselves rapturable. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Revelation chapter 20 verse 9. Revelation chapter 20 verse 9 reads, and they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. Revelation chapter 20 verse 9 Our text for today is from the book of John chapter 5, with reading from verse 28 to verse 29. John chapter 5, from verse 28 to 29 reads, Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming, in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good, unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of damnation. John chapter 5 from verse 28 to 29. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is the second resurrection. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that after yesterday's teaching, you may be asking, if Jesus will come and defeat the devil and his agents, what will happen to the people who have taken the mark of the beast that will be left on the earth? Revelation chapter 19 verse 17 to 21 says that when Jesus comes with his bride to fight the devil, an angel will gather all the birds of the air, inviting them to a great supper where they will eat the flesh of those who join the devil to fight against the Lord's army. According to National Geographic, there are between 50 billion and 430 billion birds in the world. Clearly, there will be enough birds to eat the flesh of those who dare to fight God. While those who died without the mark of the beast are raised up to reign with Christ for a thousand years, those who died while fighting Christ and his army will not be raised until the millennial reign is over. Revelation chapter 20 verse 5 After the armies have been destroyed, there will still be some people who are not soldiers but who have taken the mark of the beast on earth. These are the people that the saints will reign over for a thousand years. After the millennial reign, the devil will be released from his prison and he will gather a great army to fight the saints. However, this time, the saints will not need to fight, because God will send fire from heaven to devour their enemies. Revelation chapter 20 verse 7 to 9 says, And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city. And fire came down from heaven, and devoured them. When everyone with the mark of the beast must have died, their souls will be resurrected to face their own judgment. This is the second resurrection. All those who are part of the second resurrection will partake in the second death, which is condemnation to the lake of fire with the devil and his agents. I pray that you will not partake of the second death in Jesus' name. However, 
you have a part to play by ensuring that you surrender to Jesus Christ and live a holy life. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is the second resurrection. Two days back we saw the topic the last enemy and our Father and the Lord explained to us that the last enemy is death. He explained to us that the Bible makes it clear that death has been swallowed up in victory. He says that if you are a bride of Jesus Christ and you are committed to serving God in spirit and in truth, then death is merely a horse that will transport you to your glorious home above. He also mentioned that those who are not born again should be afraid of death because while death leads Christians to heaven, it leads sinners to the second death, which is eternal separation from God and condemnation to the lake of fire. Yesterday we saw the topic, the first resurrection, and in that study our Father and the Lord explained to us that this is not what many believers should even take as an option, that everyone should aim to be raptured when Jesus Christ comes to take his saints. He said those that are left behind after the rapture have a very small chance of making it to heaven, so it would be foolish to risk missing the rapture. He mentioned that there will be some people who will miss the rapture and who will be determined not to worship the beast or take his mark. He says it would be really tough for them because the Antichrist will do everything possible to break them. Hallelujah. Today we have in our study the topic, the second resurrection. This is the resurrection of those who have received the mark of the beast and have died. We are told that their souls will be resurrected to face their own judgment. And this also is an automatic ticket to the second death, which is condemnation to the lake of fire with the devil and his agents. This second resurrection will happen after the millennial reign of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is not a resurrection of the saints. It is not God's desire for any of us to be a part of the terrible events of that time. There is no need delaying the day of salvation if you have not made that choice for him yet. In the day you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Today is the day of salvation. The moment called now is the opportunity you have. You do not have assurance of tomorrow. Do not take chances to say that if you miss rapture, then you would be a part of the first resurrection. Anyone who is not able to bear the persecution of that time and gives in to the Antichrist will definitely not miss this second resurrection that we are talking about today, the one that leads to damnation. But it all begins with your choice. The decision you choose to make today. Just like our Father and the Lord tells us in today's study, you have a part to play by ensuring that you surrender to Jesus Christ and live a holy life. You would only be victorious over the events of the last days when you surrender to our Lord Jesus and you do not stop there but you move on to live a holy life. Many today have surrendered their lives to him and have taken it back by the life that they live. The life that we live today, whether for him or against him, will be a determinant of many things in the days to come. Do not take chances. Do not gamble with your eternal destination. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and ask the Lord today would say, Father, please help me not to be rebellious in my walk with you. Help me, Lord, to please surrender to you and to by all means miss the terrible events of the end time in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for the grace to always remain rapturable, that we will always have the consciousness of his return, that we will always live ready at all times in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that we will not be caught up with any of the terrible events, whether the first or the second resurrection. Ask him for the grace that we will be raptured when he appears. There may be anything that the Lord is placing on your heart today and calling your attention to, why not ask him today for his mercy? Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please cleanse me and wash me clean of every guilt, of every sin, of whatever it is that may want to stand in my way and prevent me from spending eternity with you. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, by your grace and your mercy, keep me. It is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, Please let your grace and your mercy be sufficient for me to the very end. Begin to bless the name of the Lord, thank him and appreciate him for answers to prayers. Father, you are worthy. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Our gracious God in heaven, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you for telling us about the second resurrection. We are asking, O Lord, by your grace and your mercy, that none of us would be partakers of it in the name of Jesus. 
help us to always live ready and alert for your return. Thank you, our Father and our blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us, do everything you can to avoid the second death. We receive the grace today not to be partakers of this second resurrection in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Psalm 107 to Psalm 111. We want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 17 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. As you go for today, have a wonderful time in God's presence and remain rapturable. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. We love you and bye for now. I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.